How's it going everybody? Good morning from beautiful freezing cold Scotland. Right guys, today we're here. We're at Ben Ann. So today guys, me being a bit of a madman, we're gonna conquer the mountain. Minus five today guys, absolutely freezing. So I imagine at the summit it's gonna be all snow, ice. It's gonna be a difficult climb, but as always on the channel, Big B makes it happen. So join me today, guys. I'm gonna go and smash Ben Ann. Let's go. I'm in demand. I'm in command. I got the whole wide world in my hands. I'm in demand. Yes, I am. And no one else can do it like I can. I'm in demand. I'm in demand, I'm the leader, a crowd pleaser, so sought after, jumping off the meter. You're looking at me, like what you see, got what you need. So guys, this is the start point to Ben Ann. Yeah, I've done this mountain a few times guys. If you can call it a mountain, it's it's not too it's a mountain but it's not massive guys, do you know what I mean? But it's very steep at the start and it's very steep towards the end. So as you can see, it starts off like this and it gets a lot steeper. So the first 10 minutes of the hike is uh, is quite bad. It's quite, if you're not really in, in shape or you're not fit, it's quite difficult. So, yeah. So we're going to go and smash this, guys. Let's do it. So this is how it starts. Like this. Now, guys, if you're, if you're going to be doing like this kind of stuff in the winter, I would always recommend... You take somebody with you, you do it with a partner or you do it with a friend or something. Um because like the weather can change quite quick. And some of these mountains guys are quite difficult. And if you slip or you have an accident or anything like that, it's always better to be with somebody because you don't the last thing you want to happen is you don't want to be stuck on the side of a frozen mountain yourself. Nobody around, no food signal. You could be up there for hours, guys, and People have died climbing mountains and stuff, guys, so you have to be very careful, but like I said, I've done this mountain a few times, so I know it like the back of my hand. So I'm going to show you guys what Ben Ann's all about today. So as you can see, it starts like this, but it does get a lot steeper, guys. Look where I've came from already, I waited in there. So as you can see, Quite steep. Look, there's a cross for Ben Ann. It's Ben Venue. Can't see the summit, it's around there somewhere behind them trees, but you can already see snow at the top of these mountains, guys. So it's going to be the same up the top of Ben Ann. It's going to be snow and ice at the top. So let's go and see what this is all about, guys. Usually I do this in the summer, but I've always been kind of intrigued what it looks like in, in the winter. Um, so I'm excited to see guys the snow and stuff at the top of the mountain so let's do it, let's continue on So guys, continuing on up the path. As you can see, where we came from, the way down there, down near the, the loch. And as you can see, guys, spectacular views, amazing. And you can start, you can see the summit uh, Ben Venue now, across the way. And as you can see, guys, there's snow at the top, as expected. So guys, we'll continue on up this path. Now guys, I've only been doing this for 10 minutes now, but it's very icy on the path. Certain bits of the, the rock steps and stuff are very icy. So if you are thinking about doing this in the winter, guys, please take care. Please be careful. 
don't want to be having any accidents as we've already spoke about. But as you can see guys, very steep. Continues on, so we'll just do that guys, we'll continue on. So guys, as we continue on up here, if you're new to the channel guys, do us a favour, just hit that subscribe button guys. We do stuff like this all the time on the channel. We're always out exploring, checking out new cool places. We do travel guys. We've been in Thailand for the last year. We've been uh, over there exploring guys. We've been to Phuket, Pattaya, Bangkok, Krabi, Pang Na, the islands. We've been all over guys. We're currently obviously back in Scotland guys, doing this mountain. So yeah guys, if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, helps me out massively if you just hit that subscribe button because what it does guys is it allows me to share all this content with people like you and help them guys and guide them and show them a lot of people don't know about these places so it's cool if someone like me makes little videos like this guys points them out shows you what's right on your doorstep in some of these places we've visited so guys we're coming to this we're coming to a little bridge Look at that. Little waterfalls guys. Fresh water right from the mountains of Scotland. Very clean guys, you drink that, very drinkable this water. Right from the top of the mountains guys. So, you're up here guys and you're thirsty and you run out of water you, you always know you can drink the water up here coming from the waterfalls so yeah guys as you can see the bridges covered the nice freezing so continue on up the mountain but yeah guys like i was saying if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content and you like exploring new places cool things to do travel nightlife girls all that kind of stuff guys do us a favour, hit that subscribe and drop a like. And if you've done this mountain before guys, or any other mountains in the, the neighbouring area, don't be afraid to leave a comment guys, tell us. Drop a comment below and tell us all about your experiences. So guys, as we come round this little corner, about halfway up now, the ground starts to flatten out. The first kind of 10-15 minutes it's been very steep is over. Now guys, there's another steep bit towards the end, but... We'll, uh, we'll get we'll show you that when we come yet but at the minute it's a bit flat and as you can see guys you can see the summit there's other walkers out as well today which is great that's the summit up there guys morning guys morning. so yeah guys that's the summit up there that's the summit of Benan which to, to be fair, it actually looks not too bad, doesn't it look like there's any snow up there, which is good. Venue, Ben Venue is just across the way, so maybe Ben Venue shielded the side of Ben Ann for a lot of the snow that came down last night, so maybe Ben Venue has caught a lot of the snow, which is the reason that Ben Ann is not too, much, not too bad at the top, it appears, so we'll always go check it out as we get up. But we've just passed a few people, guy, yeah, guys, who are as mad as me. Obviously, I enjoy doing these kind of uh, mountains and stuff and exploring any time of the year, same as me. So, they've told us that the that steep bit we're going to come up to, with three quarters of the way up the mountain, is uh, what's happened is like a stream that's it's ran through it and it's froze overnight. It's been so cold up here, so quite icy at that steep part of the mountain. So, we'll obviously check that out as we come here. But as you can see, guys. Some of the views now, very cool. Reminds me guys of like Lord of the Rings. Do you know when you see like the, the movies with like Legolas and Aragorn and stuff and they're, they're running through the mountains to try and save um, Merry and Pippin for the Urukai. That's kind of what spot on reminds me guys. All these kind of mountains and stuff. Just absolutely spectacular scenery. Just pure wilderness guys. It can literally be like 20 minutes in the middle of a city guys, 20 minutes from this kind of stuff. 
If you're in central Scotland, if you're in Stirling, which is near the calendar area, guys, um, you're about 25 30 minutes from like all these kind of mountains and stuff. Or if you're from Glasgow, guys, and you're half an hour from Glasgow to do all this kind of stuff as well so it's awesome if you live up here guys because you've got all this stuff right in your doorstep people around the world obviously some people don't have this kind of stuff to do so this is why a lot of, yeah, a lot of tourists come to Scotland to do all this kind of stuff and probably the main bonus for Scotland as well guys when you're doing these kind of mountains and stuff and you're out exploring you don't have to really worry about predators and a lot of these other countries, such as Canada, parts of America, or just any, anywhere else in the world, guys, like you need, to, you need to watch out for things like bears and wolves and mountain lions and stuff like that. But here in Scotland, guys, we have none of that. We have just like deer and kind of animals eat plants and stuff. And do you know what I mean? You never, you never really see a lot of predators, guys. The only kind of predators we've got is like little foxes and things like that. So. You don't have to worry about, do you know what I mean? If you're out and about, you don't have to worry about getting attacked on anything like that, which is great. Because I've heard, I've spoke to people from like Canada and stuff, and they've told me that whenever they go out and they do these kind of mountains and exploring stuff, they usually have to take like a guide, or somebody that's armed, or sometimes they take like a weapon themselves because they're scared if they bump into like a grizzly bear or a pack of wolves or something, what might happen. Obviously, there's been horror stories of people getting attacked by bears and stuff. So, that's a plus, a plus point to coming to Scotland and doing these rather than going to Canada and doing them. You don't have to worry about all that kind of crap. So, as you can see across the way, guys, more mountains with snow on them in the distance. But our one, for some reason, doesn't look too bad at the top. So guys, as you can see, got Ben Venue in the background, top of the peaks, covered in snow. Absolutely cracking views, guys. Right up there. Phenomenal, I've done that one as, as well, guys. Ben Venue, that's a great, that's a great one to do. But it's a lot longer than Ben Ann. Ben Venue is a, it's probably a good five hours, six hours a walk up and down. If you're fit, if you're not fit, guys, it might, might take a little bit longer than that. But what I would say about Ben Venue is, it's a, it's not as steep as parts of Ben Ann. Ben Ann at the start is quite steep, and Ben Ann uh, towards the end, as as we're going to talk about, guys, in a minute, as we've already said, it could be a little bit bad towards the end. It's a little bit steep towards the end, but the middle of Ben Ann is only flat. It's flat, you know what I mean? So Ben Ann, you can get up and down, guys, and an hour and a half, two hours, if you're fit. Do you know what I mean? It's not a hard mountain to do, but if you're not fit, guys, it might take you a little bit longer, maybe around the three hour mark. But that's with taking breaks and stuff, guys. There's no reason to rush this kind of stuff if you're out exploring. Take your time and enjoy it. Look at this, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. So we passed people earlier on, guys, but I think that was the only people apart from myself up the mountain today, which is great. Because in the summer, guys, these mountains are uh, they're quite busy. Lots of people come up in the summer, they take stuff in bags, take picnics and stuff, and have like food at the top of the, the mountain and chill. Chill up there for a good few hours. So if you're up there climbing in the summer, guys, unless you go really early in the morning, it's quite hard to, um, once you get to the top to get like a seat and stuff, you're going to have to wait. Maybe your turn, like somebody sits down for 10-15 minutes, enjoys the view at certain bits of the top. Uh, and then you have to wait till they can uh, decide if I've enough and then you can go and get a seat where they've been sitting. But in the winter guys, like today, great time to be doing it because there's nobody up here. It's phenomenal. We passed like two or three people, but that's it. So guys, that's the bit I was talking about earlier. The steep bit takes you up to there. You have to go through these kind of like woods up them steep rocks. So that's the uh, you come to like a clearing like this, guys. I'll stand back so you can see it. You come to this, guys, which is the clearing before the final push to get up to the top. And from here, from this point, 
going up there, you're about another 20 to 25 minutes to the top. This is the worst bit of being on, guys. This is the, the hardest bit. So up until now, it's been relatively easy, apart from kind of like the first five, 10 minutes. And then obviously as you come up further up, you start getting better views of Ben Venue as well, which is just across the way, as you can see, with the snow covered at the peak. If you look really closely, guys, at the bottom of it, you can see the, the lochs, Loch Venekers down there, Loch Katrina as well. Um, and we'll get better views of them, guys, as we reach the summit of Ben An. But yeah, guys, we'll continue on. If you uh, get to this point, guys, and you feel like you need a break, these kind of like big, massive rocks and stuff, you can grab a you can grab a seat, maybe a refuel, get a drink of water, or something to eat, and then continue on and do the last bit of the mountain, the last push. Uh, in all honesty, guys, this is the hardest bit. This, it's a, uh, it's not too hard, guys, but it's challenging if you've not uh, if you've not done mountains or stuff before. Just all I would say is if you're doing this in the winter. Just take care, it can be a little bit icy, but nothing to really, apart from that, nothing to worry about, guys. So we'll continue on, and uh, we will conquer Benan and get to the summit. Let's go. So, guys, that's where we've came from, away down there. There's another climber coming up the mountain as well, at the bottom somewhere, as you can see. There's a spot on there. But yeah, guys, this is the bit I was telling you about. You just have to be extra careful when you're coming up this bit, guys, as you can see. There's ice all over the rocks. So as you're coming up here in the winter, just mind your footing, because it is really delicate. You don't want to slip up here, guys. You give yourself a right nasty one. Uh, as you can see, there's icicles forming uh, as the waterfall's coming down the mountain, guys. Outside of the grass banking. That's how cold it is, guys. I think, I think it's about minus five, negative five at the minute. So... Yeah guys, icicles, as you can see. So guys, this is where we're going up here. So just mind your footing guys as you as you come up this bit of the, the mountain. We'll continue on. Icicles guys. As you can see freezing. So just mind your footing guys as you're coming up here. So guys, this is the final push, the last small section of mountain, and at the top guys around this bend, right around there, that's the summit of Ben An. So guys, we're nearly there, five minutes away, and we'll be at the top. So guys, this is us, we've made it to the summit, it's the final few steps. Wait to show you this guys, wait to let you see the spectacular views that are here at the top of Benan. Views of Loch Venecor, views of Ben Venue and Loch Katrine. Honestly guys, if you've not done Benan before, it's one of Scotland's best kept secrets. It's a hidden gem around the central belt region of Scotland. I would advise you guys, if you're into exploring in mountains and stuff like that, you get yourself out and about, get yourself up here up there and well worth it guys, as you'll see it in one minute, once I finally reach the top here. Alright man, how's it going? Brilliant. <laughs> so guys, this is the summit of Benan. Some spectacular views, as you can see. 
views of all the surrounding walks, Walk Benneker, Walk Catrine, and of course the Summit of Ben venue just across the way. See guys, stunning views all surrounding mountains in the background. Well worth the hour, hour and a half it takes to climb this whole mountain. Breathtaking guys, stunning. Yeah guys, if you're looking for a small mountain to do in Scotland, look no further than Ben Ann. So guys, that was Ben Ann. If you're looking for a fun day out, a good day's exploring and a little mountain to do that's not too difficult in the central Scotland region and I highly recommend doing Ben Ann. Until the next time guys, Big B will be back again soon but if you could really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and drop me a like and any comments and I'll get back to you. Until the next time guys, stay tuned and thanks very much for watching guys. Cheers.